Hello guys, this is Linus Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Look at this, my new travel companion, ICOM 705. I just got it for my birthday, but uh, I decided instead of doing boring unboxing video, I took my new companion straight into my ham radio van and we are going for the first time this spring and after the release, the partial release of pandemic lockdown, we are going first time to activate the park not far away from my city. All right, we're approaching now kind of a parking, parking possibility in this park, in this forest. We'll see whether it's possible anywhere to park and to deploy my antenna. It's gonna be pretty minimalistic deployment today. I think I will use vertical. So it's a beautiful forest in this park. A very nice environment. Wonderful weather today. So perfect day for the first activation in the spring after the pandemic lockdown release a little bit. So and today I can enjoy my vertical whip and I can enjoy nice weather and my shack in my ham radio van and this is uh, this is first first try for icom ic705 in the fields i'm very keen to know what's gonna happen it seems that icom705 is just too quiet or something wrong with it but no there are strong signals and they are very they come in strongly oh you see There is, con there is contest going on, so that's probably a bit more difficult for me to make my flora fauna QSOs, but still anyway. Not bad, actually the pileup, I'm running just 10 watts from the external battery, from my, from my van battery, so that's pretty nice. So the signal is coming in very very strongly indeed it seems that nobody's on the on the air at the moment it's uh, the receiver is so quiet of 705 and i think uh, i have seven uh, icom 7300 too and i think uh, 7300 is more much more noise has got a higher noise floor this one's got very very low noise floor very good
uh, we're giving each other the real re reports. So I'm getting 5.5, five, 5.9, five, 5.7, five, 5.4. Five, so with 10 watts and a vertical uh, 5 meter whip, uh, coil loaded, base coil loaded whip, I think it's okay. Well, I'm basically calling CQ all the time or, or answering uh, the other calls. So uh, my, um, my receiving and transmitting rate is very high. I'm meaning that I transmit a lot. And uh, ICOM, 70, ICOM IC705 doesn't get even warm. I don't know even where to touch to see if it's warm or not. <laughs> maybe here, maybe here, the sides, uh, the top the bottom, the sides, it's all cool, basically, not even warm, and, and working, at, working at full 10 watts. For instance, if I work with my Elecraft KX2 or with uh, IES or FT817, uh, 817 even at 5 watts level getting pretty hot, KX2 with additional uh, heatsink installed, uh, it, it's okay, but but still getting quite quite warm if, if I work at full 10 or 12 watts. ICOM IC705 got a pretty good heat sinking. That's very nice. I like pretty much the possibility to check the, your antennas SWR uh, using uh, your transceiver IC705. It's pretty easy. You just push menu, then you push SWR, and here you are. So uh, I'm now on 30 meter band, and I can recheck uh, my SWR. So you just simply push uh, this button and then you simply push the PTT as many times as it's programmed. So I see that my SWR is pretty pretty good not reaching 1.5 so maybe 1 1.2, 1 1.25 so it means uh, I was quite successful in selecting the tap on my coil very good, very convenient. No need to carry on with you uh, separate uh, uh, kind of a uh, analyzer in the situation when you're just backpacking. Uh, it's uh, it's very convenient to have a SWR uh, graph meter uh, on the ICOM 705 installed. So the antenna I'm running today is my old trusty five meter long MFJ whip base loaded with the mfj coil so in order to change the band you need to select a tap on the coil so now this tap is selected for 30 meter band and in order to switch to 20 meter which i'm gonna do now i need just to short out the coil So like that. So now it's now it's only whip is is working as an antenna. It's five meter, it's quarter quarter wavelength on twenty meters. Should be should be quite okay. So now I switched into the um, uh, meter menu on the IC705, and it's very clearly we we can see the SWR. So it's around 1.8. So I think it's uh, it's it's acceptable. Still not dangerous for the uh, not dangerous for the uh, transceiver. It it releases full power. So it's okay. Roger, roger, thank you for the five and five, five and six in 
Central Italy. And thank you for coming back on this special call. Wish you uh, all the best, my friend. 73. Bye bye. 73. Good luck and good luck. Yes, thank you. Uh, QRZ is Oscar Sierra 4, Oscar Sierra Alpha QRZ. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Portable. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Portable. Yankee 2, Hotel Stroke Portable, uh, you are 5 and 5, 55 QSL. Hey, good afternoon, thank you very much. You are 5 by 9, very loud, 5 by 9, 59. I'm activating the park flora fauna and I'm running 10 watts only, 10 watts only, QSL. Roger, Roger, yeah, he's, he's doing a very nice job, only 10, 10 whiskey QRP. Uh, it's very, very nice and uh, stable signal. Uh, congratulations on that, uh, no problem. The name on this site is Dieter, Delta India Echo Tango Echo Romeo. And we are activating from today off the special Oscar Sierra uh, pole sign for uh, the Belgium stations because of uh, the World Radio Day. All the best, my friends. Uh, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, Stroke Portable, QRP. This is Oscar Sierra 4, Oscar Sierra Alpha. Roger, Roger, Dieter. Thank you very much and uh, congratulations on activation and, and, and uh, happy World Amateur Radio Day. So I'm activating the park and I'm, my name is Linus, London, India, Nancy Alpha Sierra. And uh, this is uh, a first activation for my new transceiver ICOM IC705. So thank you very much for good report. Good luck, 73, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Portable. Okay, thank you, thanks a lot. 73 is all the best. Uh, QRZ, this is Oscar Sierra 4, Oscar Sierra Alpha. One more feature which I really like in IC705 is a GPS installed. So the, it's, it's, you can see the icon of, of GPS. It doesn't blink. It means uh, uh, the, the signal is found and the GPS uh, established my location, which is uh, very convenient uh, to know when you're activating a park, you need to know and then you need to report uh, for the for the judges uh, your location so that's very easy with IC705 you push a menu uh, and you choose uh, number two and you push GPS and if I choose GPS position I see my my coordinates I see my grid locator Kilo Oscar 24 Papa Sugar I see my altitude 139 meters uh, I see time, well, and I see everything, uh, and um, it's also uh, GPS information, it's possible to, to see uh, how many satellites uh, did, did, my, did my GPS receive, and uh, what's, what's, what's the situation with the, with the GPS information. So, this is really uh, very useful and very good information, uh, a very useful and very good feature in IC705. All right, guys, so much for today. It was the first activation of my new IC705. Actually, straight out of the box, straight to the forest and straight to the, uh, to the activation field. So it did very good. I'm very pleased with the IC705 action, uh, action in the fields. Uh, it's very, very good receiver, very, very quiet, uh, no noises and signals coming in very, very strongly. So uh, I've made 54 QSOs, all, all uh, mostly CW, all QSOs were made calling CQ. Um, and um, it means that uh, 10 watts, uh, 10 watts, it's enough of power to successfully activate even with the modest antenna which um, which i was using today uh, really i think it's a it's a it's a not pocket size but it's very very portable uh, rig and it works very seamlessly it doesn't get uh, hot i'm gonna do uh, many more activations using uh, ic705 uh, maybe i will use amplifier in the future so um, be the first to know if subscribe uh, all the news and uh, what's going on uh, with the with the icom ic705 a new horse in my stables so far so much for today 73 good luck this is linas limoyanki 2 hotel